Hi, I'm Kathy with Level Up RN. In this video, we will be discussing thrombolytics. And at the end of the video, I'm going to give you guys a little quiz to test your understanding of some of the key facts I'll be covering. So be sure to stay for that. And if you have our Level Up RN pharmacology flashcards, go ahead and pull out your flashcard on thrombolytics so you can follow along with me and pay close attention to the bold red text on the back of the card because those are the things that you are likely to get tested on. Thrombolytics are medications that are used to dissolve blood clots that are obstructing blood flow. They are used to treat conditions such as a myocardial infarction, a pulmonary embolism, and a stroke. So unlike anticoagulants, which prevent blood clots from forming or getting bigger, medications in this drug class actually break the clot up. Thrombolytics are also used to treat occluded central venous catheters. So if you will be working in the hospital and taking care of patients with PICC lines, then it is inevitable that at some point you will try to do a blood draw and won't be able to do so because it is clotted. And in this situation, you'll need to use a thrombolytic agent such as Altaplace to break up the clot and restore patency of the line. Key medications in this drug class include Altaplace, Streptokinase, and Retaplace. You'll notice that all of these medications end in place or ACE. Our cool chicken hint to help you remember these medications and what they're used for is to think Alta place goes to the place where there's a blood clot and breaks it up. In terms of mode of action, thrombolytics convert plasminogen into plasmin, which is an enzyme that breaks down fibrin. So fibrin is the mesh or scaffolding that holds a blood clot together. So by breaking down fibrin, this dissolves the blood clot. The key adverse effect of thrombolytics is bleeding. And because of this serious risk of bleeding, this drug class is contraindicated in patients with a history of hemorrhagic stroke, patients with internal bleeding, patients who have had recent surgery or trauma, and patients with severe hypertension. Next, let's talk about nursing care interventions. So one super important thing to know for nursing school and your nursing practice is the timing of administration of a thrombolytic agent in the treatment of an ischemic stroke. So TPA, which stands for tissue plasminogen activator, is a type of thrombolytic agent that is used to treat an ischemic stroke. The most common TPA used is Altaplace, which is brand name Activase. The FDA has approved the use of TPA within three hours of symptom onset of an ischemic stroke. So administration of this medication is critical within that time window. That being said, it's important to note that several major professional organizations, such as the American Heart Association, endorse the administration of TPA up to four and a half hours after symptom onset but administration after three hours is considered off-label. Other important nursing care interventions include close monitoring of the patient's vital signs in labs. In addition, it's important to recognize signs of bleeding and to take measures to prevent bleeding in your patient. Signs of bleeding include bruising, emesis or vomit that looks like coffee grounds, black tarry stools, and hematuria, which is the presence of blood in the urine. As the nurse, you want to limit vena punctures or other injections whenever possible, and when they can't be avoided, you want to use the smallest needle size possible. In addition, depending on your facility policy, you also want to implement fall precautions for your patient because if your patient were to fall during thrombolytic therapy, this can result in life-threatening bleeding. All right, it's quiz time. Are you guys ready? I have three questions for you. Question number one, what is the key adverse effect of thrombolytics? The answer is bleeding. Question number two, which of the following are contraindications for thrombolytic therapy? Select all that apply. A, hemorrhagic stroke. B, recent surgery. C, ischemic stroke, and D, gastrointestinal bleeding? The answers are A, B, and D. And question number three, 
per the FDA, TPA should be administered for an ischemic stroke within blank hours of symptom onset? The answer is three. All right, that's it for this video. I hope it was helpful. If so, be sure to hit that like button. Take care and good luck with studying. Other important nursing, sorry. Other important nursing in which of the following are contraindications for thrombo for de de We invite you to subscribe to our channel and share a link with your classmates and friends in nursing school. And if you found value in this video, be sure to hit that like button and let us know what you found to be particularly helpful.